10 News. Cell phone video caught a man putting the young man you see there in a chokehold, but the detective involved here says he did it for everyone's safety. Retired Detective Paul Ward took the stand to explain his side of the confrontation with the driver you just saw there, Robert Branch. And Branch is charged with several counts, including resisting arrest and reckless driving. 10 News reporter Diana Alviar was there in court. Diana, you saw Branch, and he seemed upset. He certainly did. He was looking down at the floor and shaking his head throughout Ward's testimony, especially when he was talking about the exact moments of that confrontation. Ward saying he was concerned about everyone's safety, especially his own. He said it started out with an intention to pull over a gold sedan for reckless driving. He testified that both vehicles exited a college avenue and then pulled over. And that's when Branch got out of his car and said he was sorry for driving like that. Ward, in plain clothes at the time, says he showed his badge and asked for Branch's license and registration. Well, Branch refused. Ward says Branch was wearing a tactical vest and refused to let the detective pat him down for weapons, slapping his hands down and trying to get away, at some point grabbing his phone and recording the entire encounter. That's when Ward says he put Branch in a type of chokehold, a carotid restraint, and Branch passed out for several seconds. He jumped to his feet. What did you do next? I told him to stay where he was and to calm down and to sit down once again. What happened next, sir? Uh, he tried to get away. He Next, they played the cell phone video for the courtroom, and Robert Branch's mother happened to be in the courtroom during that time, and she seemed very upset as it was played. She was looking down at the floor. She had her hand over her mouth and was shaking her head. Now, all of this is for a preliminary hearing. They're trying to decide if there's enough evidence to take this case to trial. Live in downtown, Diana Alviar, 10 News.